What's up, fam? Good morning. I just got back from the gym. I'm making some lunch, but I'm gonna surprise the kids with something really quickly. Let's see how they react. Kyson, Kyson, hey, can you help me open up the vlog really quick? Yeah. What do we say? What's up, fam? Hey, do you wanna go to the water park? Wait, for real? Yeah. Yes! Okay, let's go. Wait, no, no, no. Kyson, come here. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna tell them too. I'm gonna tell them. Hey, Lana, can you pause this really quick? Ready, one, two, three. What's up, fam? Hey, do you wanna go to the water park? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat lunch really quick first, okay? Go find a swimsuit, or let me help you find a swimsuit. Actually, I don't want you to look ridiculous. Sometimes they come downstairs wearing like two different pieces that don't even match, so we're going in public today, so I think I'm gonna help you guys choose. So obviously when you go to a water park, you wear swimsuits, and on Instagram, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I actually didn't vlog this, I just did it on Instagram. I went and I tried on a bunch of bathing suits, and I wanted to show you guys which ones I ended up picking and kind of explain why I did. This first one is one of the only bathing suits that I bought that was a two-piece, so I'm a little over four months post tummy tucks, so this was so exciting and kind of nerve wracking for me to see like what looks good on my body now. But what looks good isn't necessarily what is best for my body right now. This is the first swimsuit that I got. This one is a two piece and I don't know, if it, I literally just threw it on so I don't know if it's all straight or anything. I do think it looks really cute even though my belly button looks a little funky still. But it's not going to look like this forever, it's gonna fade a lot more. They say after about a year of your tummy tuck, that's when your scars will really start to fade or really like be faded by that time. So this is currently what it's looking like and it's already fading so much more than what it was. But I think I'm gonna try to shy away from wearing these two-piece bathing suits, um, specifically the ones that show any of my scars. The reason being, not because I think it looks bad, but I've been told by several different people that in that first year, you really wanna take extra good care of your scars. You wanna limit your sun exposure because supposedly if you get sun damage on your scar within that first year, it can make it continue to not heal properly and then maybe not fade as well. So I really wanna to try to keep them covered for that first year. I had so many people telling me, you look so good, like show off that body of yours, but there is a reason behind it. And while I would love to just like go out in a two piece right now, I still shouldn't do that because I want my body to continue to heal Properly, don't smack my butt. No, you're about to lose your time. Oh, okay. What do you think about swimsuit number one? He hasn't seen any of these in person yet. Um, I think you need to wear a scarf. <laughs> this is how my tummy tuck scar is healing. I haven't shown my tummy tuck scar in a while either, and this is what it's looking at. It's fading so much more, obviously, than like what it was at first. But look what? at that. Put, Crazy. put it like normal, how you would wear it. Put like it this. This is how I would normally wear it. So the scar is a little bit higher than how I would have worn it. Welcome to the 60s. So I'm gonna show you some of the other bathing suits that I tried on. Are you gonna stay in here while I change? <laughs> bathing suit number two. This one is one of my personal favorites. The reason being, um, this pattern reminds me of Hawaii and I want to go back so bad. I'm trying to plan it. I've been watching the flight tickets to see how much they cost. I've been watching them every single day. I cannot wait to go back. So this one to me just like screams tropical, which I love. The orange is super like bright and happy, which I also love. And then number three, I get to show off the body without exposing my scars, if that makes sense. I hope that doesn't sound bad. Does that sound bad? No, of course not. Good. So it is. A swimsuit number two. I did buy a few different swimsuits, obviously. I was a little excited, okay? Like, don't blame me. I'm gonna wear these probably for the next 10 years. I wanted some variety. I mean, that flattered my new body because I used to not hide it because I did not feel like I looked bad at all. But I just wore bathing suits that catered to the way that my body used to look. So this is swimsuit number three. A lot of people really, really liked this one. They were voting for this one a lot. And it has a really, really cute pattern too, which I really, really like. Bathing suit number three. I think I got one more bathing suit that they didn't have in my size store. Do you think I can slide? Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> this one, I am in love with this color. It doesn't, it's not really like, I love this. I think the color is so pretty and it's very mom-like. Not that you can't be a mom and wear like tiniest little bikini because if that is you, then you do you, boo-boo. So I love this one. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna wear today though. Probably the third one. I think I'll wear the third one today. I don't know, undecided. Stay tuned to find out. But go to my recent Instagram post. Let me know which bathing suit is your favorite. I really, really do like them all, like for different reasons. Which one do you think looks the most flattering on me? Let me know on my most recent Instagram post, but we're gonna get ready to go. It's supposed to be 100 freaking degrees today. It's gonna be so hot. Chris doesn't wanna come, so it's just gonna be me, Janelle, and six kids. 
is gonna be great. Come get sunscreened up, your favorite part of the day. There's only two of us and six of you. Be nice to us, please. I like the buddy system. Okay. I'll stay with buddies. Buddies. Alina out. With Alina and Okay, Landon, you wanna be my buddy? No, I wanna be your friend. I wanna be your buddy. Oh, thank you, Kaden. That was nice. We have two of the ones that get lost together. That means, Kaden, you're in charge of not losing them. Me and Nazi got lost. We may or may not have lost Kaden at Disneyland and Landon here at the water park before. That might be a rumor, that might be true. I'm not sure. If you get lost, what is your mommy's name? Okay, so we're getting our passes renewed and I'm realizing that I have almost no children who are both like considered like little kids anymore. If you're under a certain height, then you pay like one amount and if you're over a certain height, then you pay a higher amount because you can do everything once you're above that height. Well, this year is the first year ever that almost all of our kids are above the line, which means that they can do everything. They literally just hit it, probably like a month ago or something. So you guys, no, two years ago you were short. There's Kaisen's, he's tall enough. Lilia was general last year, I believe, so she was already above. Addie's still free, because she's only two. And then Landon, come stand right here, Landon, is still a junior. You've still got probably two more years until you're considered. I don't know how that's gonna go. He was really mad at Disneyland when he found out that he couldn't go on the Incredicoaster. He wanted to go so bad. He loves all the thrilling stuff, but he's his little body is too little to do it, but he wants to. Like this one right here, it's like a big one, and they want to do it this year. I do not. I don't know. You I don't? don't? I don't. You I don't? don't? Okay, those two do. For obvious reasons, I need to pack this camera away because it is not waterproof, but I did bring my GoPro, which has mediocre audio and may or may not be able to hear me, so I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro. Ow. Don't know if you can hear me. Let me know in the comments if there are any comments if you can hear me. Let's go. All right, you guys. You ready? It's in the way. Out. We stayed there till the very, very last second. They close at five right now, and it's like five is like the hottest time of day. But I get it because the park isn't that busy yet. But this park is an hour away from where we live, so we drove an hour. We were here for two hours, and we drive for an hour back. It's fun though, huh? Do you guys have fun? Was it worth it? Do you guys want to go swimming at Mimi's house now? Yeah. Yeah. This walk back to the car is brutal though. It's in Sacramento, which is where the California State Fair is, and it's like so it's like a fairgrounds here, and you, the water park is on the other side of it. So you literally have to walk like a mile in a hundred degree heat to get there and to get back. It's fine when you're getting there because then you just like get in the pool, but then you get back and get in the hot car. Oh. This is summer. Hayden drew me a picture, and he wants to hang it in my room. Okay, I drawed this. Yeah, you drawed it. And I did the ninja. You guys know ninja. He's very cool now. Yeah. Where's the best place to hang this, Kaden? In the middle. Above my bed. Yes. Awesome. Okay, go ahead. That's a big piece of tape. Um, sure. I know if I can be. Whoa. Right. Right Wait, on top of the picture. Yep. Oh, you hanging a picture too? Where are you hanging a picture at? Um, uh, on no. um, the bed too? Yeah. All right. So right when I wake up, the first thing that I see is your picture. I love it. No. We're hanging pictures in here. Hang yeah. it. Go ahead. We're gonna have all kinds of pictures right above our bed, so I can We're think about you guys me. every second of the You'll day. Never. You'll never was forget it me. I made this book. You made it? Yeah, I'm at school. You made that book. You're I'm telling me that you drew that book? I'm at school. At your school? At oh, my school. Yeah. This is your book. This yeah, I made it. Or you, yeah. or you like made a remake at school and this is not the one you did. I made it at school. But this is yours? Yes. You drew this? Yes. Yeah, And you wrote sure. the book? Yes. 
You wrote the book? Yes. I had a substitute teacher. Oh, no. You had a substitute teacher, so you wrote a book. Yeah. Okay. So this is your book? Yes. Right next to my face. Thank you. Do you have a picture too that you're hanging up? No, you're just gonna snuggle with me. Are you taping the book to the wall too? Yeah. Why? We don't tape books Excuse to me. walls. Bring it up with your left foot. Bring it back to your right foot. So I wanted you to come in. So what ours is just one, two, and then up here. Don't believe it's just one. And then, and then on your third one down, you're going around. Bam, and then back to back. The second part is so easy. Hey, yeah, she knows it. I turned it on last night, she was like, I know it. And I was like, there's no way. She knew the whole thing. <laughs> you guys are the cutest ever, oh my god. <laughs> So the dance recital is next week. The big, huge dance recital that they've been preparing for the whole year. And one of the funnest parts about it is that there's a daddy-daughter dance, which they have rocked for the last how many years? Two years ago. We Three? Two years ago. This is our third year doing daddy-daughter together. And they've come a long way, I'll tell you what. Because Gabe has his own little part this year where he's rocking a toe touch. Some of you guys on my Instagram got to see that beauty. Um, but yeah, stick around until next week. You guys can see it too. But also this year, for the very, very, very first time, um, I'm doing a mommy munchkin dance. And it's gonna be me and the three boys. So we need to practice that one too because I have a feeling the daddy-daughter dance is gonna look way better than our dance right now. You guys just like are pros at this, at this point. But that's hard, man. That is some tough stuff because the boys get really antsy when they learn it. So hopefully, you know, wish us some luck. But anyway, I'm gonna take a shower, you guys, and I'm gonna wrap up this video here. We're tired. I'm drained. I'm out of shape, guys. I can't hang. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.